Welcome to a child called Quest, where we use our favorite albums as judgment for food around the Charlotte metro area. If you're new to the area or just passing through, or even if you are a native of the Charlotte area and looking for good food, great vibes, and the best food for your love, then follow us as we uncover the best of the best. This is a child called Quest. We hope that you will find our presentation precise. We hope that. Anytime you Google barbecue Charlotte, it's one of the top five results. So we wanted to give it a try. Personally, it was bittersweet going there because I haven't had any like chicken or beef or anything in a few weeks. So I'm like, well, what am I gonna order at a barbecue spot? Because that defeats the purpose. But they do have salmon, they have a fish there, and we'll get into that. Yeah, so he got the salmon, and um, if you're looking at the screen right now, you can actually see the picture. It looked awesome. Um, it had like a corn remoulade or a... Is it not? You about the salmon? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it, it came on a bed of corn, and uh, it was avocado, and uh, pico. Like a, a pico, like a uh, pico de gallo. Yeah. So I wasn't trying to say room a lot. I was thinking of another word that did. Back to the regular schedule. <laughs> I mean, like, it was. Uh, it looked good. Uh, I'm, I'm not a salmon fan. Not not this type of salmon. Like if I eat salmon, like I like the salmon croquettes. But um, it did look good. Yeah, it was amazing. So I ended up ordering the salmon. It came with hush puppies, and I ordered mac and cheese as my side. And anytime I go out, most times I go out and the mac and cheese is on the menu, I do try it because I'm always in search for the best mac. And thus far, this is the best mac and cheese I've had in a restaurant here. Like the pasta. The shells were like the, not the macaroni, but the, the curly ones. What is that? The ones that like swirl around. I can't think of what you're talking about right now. Well, it wasn't the traditional macaroni uh, no. pasta, pasta. And the cheese was like, it was definitely cheddar, but it was like smoked. So it had like, it had flavor to it and it was thick. It wasn't, like a lot of spots you go to, you eat the mac and then at the bottom there's like a water base trash but this one consistency through um it was creamy all the way through yeah absolutely yeah amazing yeah so i ordered the brisket and when you say i want the brisket they'll ask you if you want it uh lean moist or mixed and i i got it mixed uh, and i also ordered a broccoli casserole, which I'm pretty sure might be like the same kind of creamy sauce that they put in his macaroni, but they just mixed it with the broccoli. And I also ordered the baked beans. And boy, oh boy. It, it, uh, it also came with a side of like some pickles, some house-made pickles, and some hush puppies. And I think like these were like the top two hush puppies I, I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm talking about like melting your mouth hush puppies. Uh, the brisket, it was just like extremely tender. Like you can kind of pick it up and kind of pull it apart with your hand. 
The only thing I'm mad at myself for not doing is asking for a bun and coleslaw because I like that mine was on, as a sandwich. But just eating it by itself, and, and like you don't even need the barbecue sauce, but I put the barbecue sauce on it anyway, and that barbecue sauce whew, out of space. Uh, I mean, like, the food was awesome. The baked beans, like, I'm extremely happy with the baked beans. <laughs> like, you can tell they took the time and cooked the baked beans like they were supposed to. They cooked it yeah. low and slow yeah. in the smoker under all the pork like, uh, or, or the beef and let this let that drip down and they took some of the extra brisket that they had and put that in there too. So it was awesome, man. Like the, the broccoli casserole, it was good. I, I think usually in my videos, y'all will hear that I have a salt addiction. And I would be like, only thing I'm missing is salt and pepper. I need some salt and pepper. I did not miss anything. No seasonings necessary. Like everything was just like spot yeah. on. You don't really need condiments at this place. They put condiments on the table, but I did put hot sauce on my mac and cheese and that's because I have to have like that spicy, salty, the combination whenever I have Mac. I was wondering why you did that. But yeah, that's that's like New that's York. Go. I don't know if it's New York. I just started doing it a while ago and never stopped. It, yeah, it just stuck. So um, what do you want to say? Pause or that's what she said. Nah, I'm just I'm just laughing because I was looking outside. No, okay. but anyway, yeah, mac and cheese was bomb. I can't like say that enough. If you go there, you have to order it. Well, I did order a thing of mac and cheese to leave. Um, I was gonna order a whole plate, but I that, that, that plan got canceled. Mm -hmm. So I just like, let me order the mac and cheese. I wanted to order some hush puppies to go, but I know if I had those hush puppies, like I was gonna eat them. Yeah. And I didn't eat that bread, but like, the hush puppies, they're small and it tastes like they have more of a, it's, it's slightly sweet mm -hmm. and it's really fatty because you can tell by how it melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And um, you, you get what I'm saying? Like the more something kind of melts in your mouth, like the fattier it is, if it was well, you dry, mean like it's a it lot of butter? Burnt. Yeah, like either butter yeah. or um, buttermilk. Yeah, whether they, yeah, yeah. You know, whether they use heavy cream. They had to. Yeah, because a lot of hush puppies come with a dipping sauce. And oh, no. Serve this with it. You yeah. wouldn't want it. You wouldn't want any butter, or, mm -hmm. uh, honey butter. You won't want anything with these the hush puppies. Um, like, I, I'm, I'm not sure what kind of corn. It, Cause it barely tasted like they had any cornmeal in it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. it was almost like a um, a cornbread that tastes so much like cake that you can't distinguish whether it is actually cornbread or is it cake. I think that's like a um, a down south cornbread mm -hmm. um, recipe or something like that. But anyway, they should have cornbread. On that it it was made out yeah, of that same, that same pattern. Yeah, see, that, that would have, yeah, that would have been too addictive. That would have been. Especially in the cast iron, um, like self-serve cast iron. Um, yeah. Was, yeah, man, that, that would have been wild. They also had a really good dessert menu that I wanted to try, but I'm, I'm stuck. It, yeah. was, it wasn't happening. Yeah, this is the first place I actually didn't eat all of my food. Like, I got literally half of everything. I, I literally packed it up. And um, you tip that home and have yeah, it have a whole time. Exactly, exactly. I might go and get me some a little roll or oh, coleslaw or some Hennessy. Man, what? <laughs> <laughs> that place, I was staring at their bar. They have a really good selection, but they did not have Hennessy, and I feel like that was the only thing missing out of this restaurant. Like, I haven't had a drink in two weeks or so. But if I had a song, 
anything's possible. Anything's so, possible. Anything's possible. That definitely would have got me a nice little hints of meat. Um, it would have went well with it. Like, it they, good. they had an awesome um, beverage menu. Mm. Like, like their beverage menu read like their food menu. Like it was mm -hmm. just awesome. Like they had um, things like jalapeno poppers and uh, they had mixed text tacos. Yeah. The burger that the lady that was sitting across the table from us had looked insane. Man, like, it, that thing looked like a Mondo burger. It, looked, it was like on. It looked like she had a burger patty and brisket on it. And then added bacon and avocado. Like she customized her burgers, so they do let you make alterations as long as they can accommodate. So it's it's a dope spot. It's super chill in there. It's not pretentious at all. It's like you go there to eat, have a drink, enjoy yourself. It's nice, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. So they um just when you walk up. I like how um, the there's like two stories where their restaurant sign is at the top of the second story. So I thought we had to go up, but I'm I'm guessing like they want people to know that it's there, so they put it up there. So if you're driving on the street, you can be like, Arr! the Krispy Kreme hot light sign on. <laughs> Let's turn around and go there. Right. So like it's 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 a nice place. Um, real nice on uh, the brisket man let's talk about this brisket so i said that it was pulled apart and like the bark on it was incredibly good now the the, the brisket it did you could taste like the smoky and like a little saltiness in it but that's one of the reasons why i didn't need any um extra seasonings on it because it was already there, like that pepper flavor, like it just hits you in the mouth. It also looks really good. I didn't try it, mm -hmm. but when they dropped it at the table, I was like, yeah, jeez. Yeah, the burnt, the burnt ends looked even better when they were passing by. This, uh, somebody ordered the burnt ends and like they caramelized and like, um, what you say, Dr. Pepper or something yeah, like that? Like it, uh, yeah, man, I, um, I'm most definitely coming back. Like, yeah, I would go back. There's no, mm -hmm. there's no maybe. It's just a question of when. Like, I'm coming back. Cause it's a it's a large menu, so you definitely want to go back and try more things. Yeah. Uh, if you are a vegetarian, don't go there. Don't do it to yourself. I was able to maneuver around the menu, but when I go back, well, they have salads. If you go to a barbecue spot and order a salad. You have lost your mind. Like I saw people eating salads, and I'm like, why? Like why? Yeah. You can go anywhere and get a salad. See, I'm not a vegetarian, like, so I'm well, that, that, yeah, that makes sense. You can't smoke the lettuce. Like what, you go because they're smoke, they're marinating meats yeah. for days on end, and then you go there and order like what, a salad. Smoking, they're smoking the meats, whatever. But, yeah, you know, different right. strokes for different folks. Yeah. Um, like on the way I would order a salad is if that's the appetizer and I just need something green before I get into all this beef and pork in there. Yeah. yeah. But okay, so with all that being said, um rankings. Yeah. Man, this is dun -dun -dun -dun. I really think that this is my favorite place that we've been so far. That's major. Um you mentioned that the KFC chicken sandwich from Zhao Bao was at this level. Mm -hmm. And I would say it was. Mm -hmm. But with the sides, I, I mean, like, it's, it, I, I think it's a notch above Zhao Bao. And I would no, give it the no. Well, you can't. Yeah, paper trail. You can't compare. So that we had this conversation. After yeah, this we time. did. We did. Like, we've tried Italian. We've tried Asian fusion. This is like American Southern food. Like, it's really hard. Like, how do you compare a slice of pizza to a lo mein? Like, it's hard to do that. 
So when he was saying it was his favorite spot thus far, I'm like, I mean, that's your personal preference, of course, but for me, like, I can't compare it to, like, Silver Lake Ramen, because it's a whole different palette. Well, I can. I really can't <laughs> like I don't know how. The only reason why I'm saying that because it's like comparing a plane to a boat. Like it's two completely different modes of transportation. So how do you compare a brisket to a slice of pizza? Which like, one do I want to eat more? No, but I'm talking about like how do you compare what goes into a pizza? which is like multiple ingredients, bread, sauce, cheese, toppings, etc. cetera. And then you comparing that to a meat that's been marinated for like 48 hours. I don't think that's fair. The reason why I can say that is because my stomach allows me to say that like, um, I get what you're saying, like they're not in the same class, but when you show up and have, like say you're having a cooking contest, right? Mm -hmm. No one knows what the other person is cooking. Everybody hands in their dish. When do they, where do they do that at? A cooking contest? Like when I turn on a, a, a chef competition, the chef will give the people the ingredients and then they have to figure out. Well, I mean, like, make it best, okay, so. But they don't like make, they don't cross power. Okay, so let, let me say this. When, like say if you're watching, uh, What's Gordon Ramsay's show, Hell's Kitchen? Mm -hmm. The very first episode to figure out who he's gonna keep, he started out just making your best dish. Okay. And people make their best dishes and they're not all serving the same type of cuisine. Okay. So he can say, this is good, this is good, this is bad, get out of here. Okay. So I'm saying, this is good. Like this, um, this food right here is good. Um, now I could compare it to restaurants that I don't have anywhere to go. Um, I feel like if the brisket would have been a little warmer and like I, I really got to split hairs just to find something that says it's a blueprint which I'm pretty sure it's like chasing a white whale at this point because I actually felt like I was being too lax on some of the, the meals in the past and I needed something to, I needed something to strive for to, or else I would have been telling everybody, say, man, this is, um, see y'all's paper tail, this is blueprint. Like everything that I would have eaten would have been like either my number one or two out of 10, which I don't really think that's fair to the viewer because some of you might go here and say well he said it was the best thing he's ever eaten like how is this the best thing he, he's ever eaten mm -hmm. so I, I i wanted to tighten up just a little bit not too much to be pretentious but just a little 
so I really had to reevaluate what, like how I was, I was great at some things. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Um, for me, this spot, I don't know if anyone's gotten this rating so far, but it's definitely Nas's Illmatic. Mm. Woo! This is why. Finally. And yet he says that this isn't as good as Zhao Bao. I said I can't compare them. Oh, okay. I can't compare them. Because I gave Zhao Bao the W, Wu Tang. This is blah, blah, blah. This video is not about Zhao Bao. But. I give this spot um, Nas Illmatic because a few reasons. One, best salmon I've had in a very long time. Yeah, that's awesome, man. In house, out of house, whatever. Like the way they marinated, marinated it, the way they glazed it, the corn that it came with, the the pico, the avocado, like everything was on point. The hush puppies. The best hush puppies I had before that is at another spot, but it comes with the dipping sauce. So when these hush puppies was on my plate, I'm like, I don't see no butter, I don't see no dipping sauce. So like, these What's up? they gonna be dry. Yeah. I took my first bite and I was like, oh. Okay. I took the first bite before you okay. did. I gave you one, right? Yeah, I but even then, I, I didn't know. But then when you when you have it, when you experience it, you're like, all right, it's lit. Then the the mac. I can't keep talking about the mac, but the mac was just like top tier. Mac. Level. And then uh, when you look at the rest of the menu, just based off what we had, like you know the dessert menu is good, you know the other items is good, and like you're not gonna find nothing better. Also, it's a place that you go when you are probably ending the night. Like I don't feel energetic. I, I don't feel like I could go there for lunch and then go work afterwards because mm -hmm. I really want to take a nap. It's heavy. It's yeah. It's like, heavy. It's it's heavy. Um, Especially if you hit the bar too, like you gonna go home and just lay it down. Yeah. So that's why I'm glad <laughs> I didn't eat everything. Cause yeah. that brisket, like that's real. Yeah. That's a lot of protein. Um, a lot of starches. Yeah. It's heavy. It's heavy plates. Yeah. Yeah. So it's where you go when you want to have dinner or you don't have much to do afterwards and you're just gonna relax. Yeah. So everything for me was just like top notch. So Nas finally got something in, in, the, uh, in the reviews. So what do you think about the price? Um, I believe I ordered, I had the salmon in the Mac and it was 12 bucks. That's what? Yeah, it was 12 dollars. That's a steal. What? And that wasn't even a lunch special. Like, that's the permanent price. Man, I had uh, the large brisket. I had two sides that came with my meal. And then I ordered a third side just to take. And everything came like $25. Mm -hmm. And like, remind, just to remind you all, like I'm literally taking half of everything home. The only thing that I ate all of were the hush puppies. Mm -hmm. Like that, the hush puppies, fried bread, that's not gonna reheat well. So I didn't mind taking that home. So, I mean like. The price is good. Yeah, yeah like, I mean, I, I basically got two meals within this one. So I, I I I would most definitely say like, man, we can get us all stamp of approval. You see the ratings that we just gave. Them. Yeah, this I, place is it's I, top I, it's top notch. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's 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 some of the best barbecue that I've had. Um, uh, they didn't have baby back ribs, which I'm kind of glad because anytime I go into a restaurant and I see baby back ribs on the menu, like I gotta try. I love just it with baby back. Family, your mama will beat the crap out of you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm glad that they didn't they didn't have the baby back. They had St. Louis. But if they would have had the baby back, I would have tried it. But this gave me a chance to actually try the brisket, which is something that I love to try. Now what's um, the difference between baby back and St. Louis? It's a different bone. I mean, that's so okay. It's, I think if you have like the total real, 
um, the baby back is like at one portion of the rib. Vegans cover your ears. And <laughs> yeah, the baby back is like one portion of the rib, and the St. Louis is like at the other port. So I, I think most people will actually say that the baby back may be more tender. Mm. But I, I, I can't, I don't know why. Um, to me, whenever I have St. Louis, it's something about the uh, the bone, like the bones are thicker. I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just going off of what I think, which I shouldn't even go there. Um, but it's it's off of both of them off of a rib, but it's just a portion of the rib that you're using. Gotcha. But I like the same. I mean, I like the baby back better, just to me because um, it it doesn't have like some of the bristle that um, like the. Some of the other so cuts. you gotta work through a lot of other cuts. The baby back is yeah. like a cleaner. Yeah. Shit to me. Yeah. I, I mean, at least in my opinion. Now, someone out there may be like, like, why you don't know this? But I don't know because I forgot it. You know, I mean, it just is what it is. I know that I like it more, but I, I just can't give that answer. Gotcha. Um, but I most definitely rather have the, the baby back. But this, uh, like I said, this gave me a chance to try the brisket, which is what I love. Um, it wasn't shredded. It was sliced, sliced brisket, but you can just pick it up and pull it apart. Mm -hmm. It was, it was moist. Like they had everything. Like I, I didn't realize I was eating some of my barbecue sauce for a while. Like I had to remind so myself flavor. to use barbecue sauce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the barbecue sauce, it, it made it better, but you don't need the barbecue sauce. Which they make their own barbecue sauce. Nice. Yeah. So all in all, it's, it's a good spot, and it was a great choice for today. Absolutely. Um, you did good, bro. Yeah, and next, we're going to go check out another barbecue spot around the corner for me that is completely different. Completely different. Beast. So I can't wait. But we'll save that for another time. This video is all about Midwood Smokehouse on Central in Plaza Midwood, Charlotte, North Carolina. So again, Nas is Illmatic. Amazing, amazing restaurant. I, I, like I said, I gave mine a TI picture. So that's almost as good as it can get. And I'm still waiting for something to, which does not knock me off of my feet. Believe me, it knocked me off of my feet. But I want something that actually knocked me off of my feet and start putting the dirt on my body. That was intense. That was intense. And on that note, we gotta go. We gonna be out. So take care. Adios, compadres. <laughs>